Um, next up, we have um, Jonathan Tang, who's the Senior Vice President of Airline Solutions Delivery and IT Sales for Asia Pacific by, for Amadeus. Um, I hand it over to you, Jonathan. Thank you very much. Hope you can hear me. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, so thanks for having me here. I'm here to uh, just describe a little bit what Amadeus has been doing in an effort to rebuild travel. As we all know, it's very, very heavily impacted, as we have seen and heard from our other speakers. Um, and maybe to get it started, uh, just to explain a little bit of the context. I mean, Amadeus, we are a technology company for the travel industry at large. And um, but what I wanted to show here to provide a context so you understand and you can appreciate what we've been trying to do. Yeah, essentially, we are providing technology for many parts of the travel journey. And if you look at, uh, you know, as a traveler or as an airline, from the planning, the booking, the pre-departure, post and on trip. So these are the different areas where we provide systems and solutions to airlines and to travelers. Um, and what COVID has done, right, really is to cause a lot of friction, all right, in some of these areas. So you talk about booking. So from the booking on the website, you will need more information, things that you did not need to be aware of or want to look for, okay, to decide on the travel, okay, you now have to do that. And then of course, the pre-departure process, as you know, my, my colleagues and the other speakers have spoken and presented before, it's very, very drastically impacted. Okay, so just to share a little bit what we have done with uh, quite a few airlines globally, um, so far in the last couple of months, um, the, the intention on our part is to try, try to reinstate and facilitate um, the processes that we have so, I mean, so effectively done over the last decade, but has been undone because of the pandemic, All right? So now, now this is a photo taken, I, I guess, uh, by one of my colleagues, I believe, in one of the airports in Europe. And, um, and, and I can, and this resonates with me because last week I actually traveled to Korea, South Korea to Seoul, okay, from Singapore, um, on Singapore Airlines actually. And um, this was very much my experience. Um, what was interesting is I could, I could say that, uh, you know, many of the travelers who were in the queues with me, both at Changi as well as the Incheon, right, you can tell that they're all frequent travelers from the packs they have on their bags. You can tell they were, they were PPS members or Star Alliance Gold members, so frequent travelers. But every one of us, all right, we have a folder this thick with all the printouts. And the multiple checkpoints we are at, at both airports, um, you can hear someone asking for something and all these frequent travelers going, is this what you're looking for? Is this the one? Is that the one? Um, so there's a lot of confusion. So for an airline, there is a loss of automation and efficiency. For travelers, it's a lot of uncertainty and stress. And I can tell you two weeks leading up to the trip, uh, you know, me, I was struggling to understand what I need to print out, what I need to get validated, and where to book all my pre-departure tests, be it in Singapore or in Incheon. Okay, so the overall experience was really poor as a traveler, um, and, and we really need to do something. So I, I'm going to describe in the coming slides what we as Amadeus have tried to put in place for airlines in an attempt right, to uh, rebuild some of these processes so that the experience can be better. It's not perfect, all right, and um, I, I believe there's still a lot of broken pieces and we need to put this together as an ecosystem, as a community. So the, the first thing that we have done that is very new, um, and some of my colleagues have touched on this, um, if you think about a traveler in the planning stage when they go to different websites, airline websites to do their booking, uh, we now have to furnish airlines with information about the places they're traveling to because uh, the COVID situation in different markets become a deciding factor whether they want to travel there. So we have pushed these capabilities onto airline websites um, as well as travel agency desktops okay, well, because they advise travelers, they make the bookings. So anything about what's happening in the country, the requirements, or if there are safety measures by different airlines or even hotels, we make all this information at the fingertips or be the website or travel agent so they can advise travelers. So this is the one new change that uh, we feel is very necessary in this COVID world as we talk about the traveler journey. Now then the second thing is of course, um, after the booking is done, now um, you need to remind and you have to get your passengers to actually the travelers to go for your tests. So what we try to do is to do this within a familiar environment, which is the airline app. So many airlines are using um, the technologies that we provide for their mobile app. 
So within there, um, where they look at their travel information, they can very quickly from there then um, see and be reminded through notifications, which we will push to the airline app, telling them that you have to go for your test. All right, and what kind of test is required? We also push that information into the app. And all this information are not from us. Okay? We actually partner with different providers and to make sure it's up to date, it's accurate, and we notify the customers, uh, the travelers. Now, we also do envisage that at some stage, perhaps we can start providing health certificate at the booking time. Okay, so again, this um, allows us to do all this upfront and really minimize uh, what needs to be done when the passenger is ready to travel. Okay, so that's, that's the next thing about booking all your test results, getting the tests done, and then having those information at hand, getting that printed out, or having the QR code issued to you. Okay, then come to the pre-departure. So if you imagine two days before the travel, so this is where the nightmare begins, right? If we don't have technology. So this is where, again, within a familiar environment, the airline app, most travelers on the web, they go to the airline website, or they go to the app, and they begin their check-in process. So here we are again pushing information. Um, so if, if you look at the, the slide here, you can see that they can very easily pick up for the country that they're traveling to, um, what is required, what kind of tests, whether it's a PCR, it's antigen, and what are the, the re requirements there for pre-departure tests as well, whether it has to be 72 hours, whether it's just 48 hours before, and even for the test, um, what kind of, uh, sorry, and even for the vaccination, what kind of vaccination is accepted in the country you're traveling to, whether you need one dose, two dose, all this information we need to push. I mean, the goal here really is to inform travelers um, as they're preparing for travel. Okay, then what we have introduced, and I think this is where the change and the return to efficiency can come, um, that is to capture and validate as much of these um, pre-flight information or health certification as possible so that you can actually do the online check-in. Because if you think about it, in the past, pre-COVID, I don't even go to the check-in desk anymore, right? I, I do all the online check-in. I have my, my passport, I have my mobile phone, my boarding pass that I, that I get from the online check-in. And then I, I just go through immigration. Now today, I still have to go and queue. And that was the experience last week as well when I traveled to so Seoul. I could not complete an online check-in on the airline um, check-in app. Right, so with this, what we are trying to accomplish here is um, for you, for travelers to be able to submit um, vaccination certificates during the online check-in process or even the pre-departure test results. Now, if we can accomplish this, all right, and we can verify all this information two days prior to the passenger going to the airport, then we return um, all the automation and efficiency that we had pre-COVID. Okay, so how we do this, so we built a, a application um, really very quickly in, in a couple of months, what we call safe travel. Um, and in this application, the first, the first bit of it is basically to have a uh, HTML page, all right, that we could very easily insert into the booking flow of an airline website or even their mobile app. Okay, so imagine if you're doing the check-in, um, you click check-in, and before you get to the point where you can select your seat, the seats, right, or get your boarding pass, you see what you, you see on the slide right now. You have to, um, in this case for test results, you can submit your test results via QR code, okay? Or you can select a health pass provider. In the case of a QR code, you click on that um, and then you can scan. And um, we actually partnering a lot of different platforms, okay, like IATA Travel Pass, like Affinity, um, even other health pass providers like IBM, Centogene, the EU, the CC, we have integrated all this into this application, Safe Travel, that we have. So that when you scan a QR code or when you select, let's say, IATA Travel Pass or IBM Travel Pass or Health Pass, then behind the scenes, all these things are verified in real time. And um, if it checks out, we will get the, the OK to travel status back into this application. Um, make sure that it aligns with the rules of the country you're traveling from, and then we'll give an OK to travel indicator into downline systems. Okay, alternatively, you can also upload a file or take a photo if you do not have a QR code, if it's a printout. So a lot of the tests today um, in some countries are still on paper. So travelers are traveling with a piece of paper. You can actually just upload it by taking a picture. And, and we use uh, OCR, okay, to pick up the keywords and to make sure it's there. 
Now, you can also envisage um, that you can use this to capture information such as did you register your, your PCR test on arrival? That is something required for most VTL travel. So in Seoul last week when I traveled, I needed to make sure I have an appointment with the test center in Incheon. All right. So if we can, again, in this process, pick a photo and using OCR, pick it up and then indicate in the app that this passenger has done that, then the passenger or the traveler do not need to queue up for someone to check that manually. Okay. So, all, so our role here is not to be an issuer of health pass. Our role here is to partner with all the different providers um, like Affinity, like uh, the EUDCC, and um, as much as possible with the different countries who are having their own QR codes, to which Affinity, I believe, is doing a really great job um, interfacing and making their system work with. So we just you know, send all this over, integrate that, so that we can get um, all the verifications done and to let the traveler proceed. So once this is done in this part of the journey, then essentially um, the, the traveler in the check-in process will get an okay to travel. And we will, and, and because Amadeus powers all the online check-in, all the uh, departure control services and, and systems of airlines, we will then pass this indicator into the downline applications of, of the airlines so that they know that everything checks out and this passenger is okay for check-in and they can proceed to boarding. Um, so this facilitates and, and returns the ability for an airline to allow online check-in. And it's easier on the travel as well. And if we really accomplish that, and I would say it's, we are not there yet today. In some countries, we, we manage that because they require less um, documents and checks. But in APEC, as, as we reopen, I believe well, we are not quite there yet. But if we get to that point where all these things and all these verifications from from vaccines to pre-departure tests to all the clinics and, and, and you know, appointments you need to do in the places you're traveling to for all your checks can be done digitally. Then, you know, things like backdrop, it can be touchless, it can be seamless as well. Because today, if, if you go to a, a backdrop counter, okay, um, we enable some touchless technology there. All you need to do is scan your boarding pass, right? And if, if it captures that you're okay to travel as a traveler, then you can go on, drop your bags, and the backdrop process can carry on as well. Similarly for boarding, all right, if, um, the, if in the airline system, the okay to travel indicator is being passed down, all these checks out, then at the time of boarding, there doesn't need to be additional checks, all right? We can uh, leverage biometrics and everything is very seamless um, and the customer experience can possibly return. And, and the other use case we're starting to do now is um, in, in the case of disruptions, which is very much part of travel. It does happen. Um, and when it happens, we are now then thinking the pre-departure test may not be valid anymore, especially if your new flight is, let's say, 48 hours later, right? So um, now we need to find a way to have all these notifications pushed again to the traveler via the mobile app. And if they do need to go for another test, then they have to, we will notify them, do the test and maybe upload it into the app to do a recheck-in. But if it's still valid, then we should be able to tell them through the application that you can still proceed to your new flight as planned. So again, um, this is just a very quick overview of what we have done. Uh, it's not perfect, like I said, and, and we believe more collaboration is needed. We have the first airline live using some, some of these applications that I talked about. We have up to, uh, uh, 13 airlines live today, and we have many more in testing. And we have already 2 million verifications done so far through the system. Um, most of these are in North America and in Europe. Um, we are hoping to start rolling this out in Asia for the airlines and for the travelers as the travel lanes open in the coming weeks and months. All right, so that was a very quick overview. I hope you found that helpful and um, very happy to take questions uh, if there are. So I'll hand this time back. Thanks, Dr.